Good morning, everyone. It's raining outside. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, but I started to build and then it dawned on me I wasn't recording. So, this is right by the church we did last, I believe. <clears throat> I decided I found a picture that I liked of a build. Um, it wasn't an actual Minecraft build. It was um, a mock-up of a house. And the house was basically, and I'm still doing the debate. Um, there was a door that went in here and I was like, but I already have this built in here. So I was like, do I go in through here and build like a little storage area? I don't know. So I just kind of left it as my classic little water thingy and we have a zombie somewhere there he is and then I want to do a few of these just trying to break up the there you go so basically this is an l-shaped house let's come up and take a look and what I did is I went five wide. I did a five wide and then a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's a five by seven. So it's five by seven. There's three of those. Then there is a seven by seven square central room. And then the antechamber little area here, which is the seven again with another seven, no, four. So it would be six, I think. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. So six in length and seven in width. Okay. And I did that so I could do this with the door. So I could have the wood framing it. So that's the floor plan here. And then we did a bump out here. Let's see, let's see if I can actually pull up the image of the build itself. <clears throat> so you can get an idea of what I'm trying to do. So bear with me one second. Let's see, it's not this. This is the one I'm going to be asking you guys whether or not I should make an attempt at doing it. Um, so let's see if I can pull this up. What I am currently working on, there it is. There you go. That is the build. I'm not that good at this, guys. So this is what I'm working on. Um, and I got the chimney up on the left and then the tower. And I don't think I'm going to do a full bump out on the right. I'm not sure if it's going to fit. So let's go back. So you, you see that. And then let's go. I hate how it does this. Sometimes it, yeah, there you go. It has an issue with the game. So I'm sitting here doing a look over here. And because the land comes up so high, I'm like, I'm not sure. I mean, it might work. Let's go grab this. We might have to do like a little bump out. Oop. Do like a little one, like there you go, and then do another little one here. Then we can do like so. I want to go take a look at that photo again. Let's 
Go to Minecraft photos. So that one is this one. So this would go. Oh, see, it's a little bit more of a challenge because it pops out and then it's got another level above. So I might go like so. Then go up. We need like that. And again, I, I do want this absolutely claustrophobic feeling to this village. doesn't fit quite exactly with that pattern we already have, but it'd be kind of neat. Oops. And of course we have that tower there. <coughs> So that's been like the whole thing I've been talking about is when you master that five by five pattern, you can then start exploring and expanding it. But you always want to stay with odd numbers because it gives you that nice peaked roof in the middle and you don't end up with the, the two ceilings meeting. You get this nice solid one block rather than two wide, which I don't think you will find any of my roofs around here that are going to be a two wide roof. Um, all right, so we got that. That's going to be stairs. Come in here. There you go. We'll get most of this done. It's going to be a very quick video because, again, I want you to just to see the basic uh, floor plan. Which again is going to be five, ten, fifteen, and then sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. So twenty one for the whole back, seven by seven square in the middle, then you bounce it forward, four, and then seven across again. So there. All right, now we got to figure out the color of our windows. I want it to not match with our neighbors because this is supposed to be an armorer's house. Let's see. Um, pain. So something that pops. We could do lime green. We did lime green downstairs. I'll show you what the downstairs looks like. Because again, uh, what I'm trying to do is work with the environment to show you that you can work with the environment and make it work for you. Uh, this was the hillside. This ramp, or yeah, it's a ramp, was already here. 
and I wanted to build it up here. I found the perfect spot for it, so I bricked all this in. This was green, and I built basically a armory down here. All the iron displays, swords on display. There's a lot of diamond swords. The place to actually, I should probably put an anvil down. Anvil. Do it right here. Do it right there. There you go. That way he's got a spot and a spot. All right. And then it comes in here, and you have where he puts all of his storage. Then upstairs, kitchen, sitting area, and sleeping area. So we have a whole space there. That's again why I was thinking about actually breaking through here, but then I decided not to. But you can make the natural environment of the game, you can work with it. You're just going to build up. And I do like pops of color when it comes to putting in windows or decorations. I like anything that will pop out. And the other reason why I like doing these 5 by 5s is you end up with this nice white and white on either side. This is not white. This is actually light gray. I decided to go with something different than my regular white because it was just there's too much white around. Oh. Can we do this? Okay, I'm just gonna do like so, and then do that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, and I wanted to look a little. I wanted to look like a real town, like a little bit rundown. You know, stuff just kind of thrown and fitted in wherever they can like a real town does tend to grow and it does fit in quite well um, I do know what I'm gonna do with this section once we get up here across here I'm gonna do a beam going across at this level because in the image double check the image I'm actually going to have to make it big so I can actually see it. In the image, um, the tower looks like it's made out of cobblestone. It is. Okay, it is made out of cobblestone. So, I'm going to have to work with that. I'm probably going to do stone brick like I usually do. And I'm making these very high peaked roofs. So I think they look interesting. I'm not gonna knock down all I'm just gonna knock down all these trees. Just to clear up some area. Yeah, we need to get you away. I don't know how far the the area is that it won't because of that being so close. Okay, wow. Rain's really coming down. There you go. just like the little odds and ends I've been doing around here to just sort of make it kind of fit. I just noticed a problem with this bridge. Why did I do that? Oops. There. 
I still gotta make the covers here. There's gonna be a little overlap right here. Um, so yeah, it's getting there. I like it, and I still gotta put a roof on this house. <laughs> uh, all these little things. Which again, if you want me to go over some of these other houses that I built, uh, this is literally four or five by fives, built up two stories with a stable underneath. Uh, this is one of the earliest builds I did here. Eh. I like these yeah. now. So yeah, this is, I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna call this. Medieval L-shaped house? I don't know. It'll take me a day or so to figure it out. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to keep this wood framing here. Um, I'm just, I'm not sure. It's going to take a little bit of finagling for me to decide what I want to do. This should be interesting. So yeah. Because I don't, I don't know if I like how these look. So I don't know how I'll like, but then it is wood. I mean, I could go with non-brick and just go with a different color terracotta. Let's see what that looks like. I don't want anything really patterned. That's light gray, so we could go gray. Let's just see what this looks like if you stack it non-stop. Yeah, I don't like that. Right off the bat. Already know, don't like it. Okay. So I might go with that. Just darker gray. There you go. Oops, okay, let's get in the inside. There you go. All the way to the floor. Yay! But yeah, if you do like these videos, let me know um, and I will keep doing them. Um, if you want to let me know how I can do better, feel free. Uh, I am always up for constructive criticism. Um, I don't mind. So let's see what this looks like from over here. Yeah, I kind of like that. All right. Well, anyway, I got to go take my dog out for a walk. So if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and... Um, Hit the bell so you know when I do upgrade, upgrade, upload. Wow. I'm having fun. It's been a crazy, yeah, it's the world's gone crazy. We all know that. So, yeah, stay safe, social distancing, um, wash your hands, all right? For us, those of us that are compromised with our immune system, all right? Don't be a vector. I will see you guys next time. Ta!